mesenchymal stem cells basically are not the only potent cells we thought they were. I think Dr. Bill got on this this morning some more. These are basically, Dr. Kaplan who discovered these cells is now saying, wait a minute, I was wrong. They're probably not really even stem cells. They're immune modulators. They don't really drive the tissue regeneration. They're not the ones that do that. That's more than a matter of poetic. And they are, so they're bioactive agents, they're immune modulatory, and they're trophic. So very important aspect. Are they important? Yes. Are they the most important cell? No, there's no one cell that's the most important cell. You must realize that, and you must have this idea. This is Dr. Kaplan who discovered these cells, saying, wait a minute, these cells are very common. They're found in most vascular, vasculature. They're found in all the perivascular cells. They're pericytes, he calls them. And he says that they help establish the regenerative microenvironment. They're immune modulators, they're drug stores. So what he calls them is medicinal singling cells. They get that stem cell niche ready. I, can, I sort of compare them sometimes to a US Navy SEAL strike team. They go in that area, they get it squared away so the rest of the army can go in and do what they need to do. So think of them that way, okay? And here's a good thing from one of Dr. The picture from one of uh, Dr. Kaplan's articles. They start as the periocyte, get activated, become regenerative mesenchymal stem cells, and they do immune modulation. Again, what is it doing? It's affecting our immune system. They're so intimately involved with each other. Okay, so basically, uh, we know that sometimes um, these cells can be functioning. You can have a patient with an x-ray that looks horrible. The patient has no symptoms it's because these cells are still functioning. Um, risk to the mesenchymal stem cells? Probably not. With most cells, there's no risk. You, now, one thing you, I'm going to tell you, growing these cells, if I was allowed to grow these cells in the United States, I still wouldn't do it. Why? Because when you start growing these cells, they lose their characteristics, they lose their morphology, they lose their secretory patterns. They don't really work that way. You know, the body doesn't use one type of cell over another. It uses the symphony of cells, and that's what you have to do. 